Today we'll be going over the top 5 Big Ten Finals matches of recent years. Starting off with Nathan Tomasello vs Clark of Iowa. Tomasello would be losing in the third period with Clark leading after getting an escape in the second, but Clark would get a penalty point and then Tomasello would escape, putting him up 2-1. to one. Then he would also score a takedown, which would think would seal the deal for him, putting him up 4-1. to one. But Clark would get an escape and then take down Tomasello to force a 4-4 to four match and go into overtime. But with about 5 seconds left, Tomasello would get into a sit-out position and escape at the last second to win a thriller match. About scoring and keeping scoring, and that's exactly what Tomasello did there. He, he's hit several shots, and he, that shot he scored on. Wow, what the escape by Clark gives him one. It's four to two. A takedown would tie the match, and he gets the two. What a match! 14 seconds left. Can Tomasello get out, or is Clark going to ride him and will go to overtime? Tomasello, one more crack at it here to try to get out of that spiral ride, the crab ride. Can he get enough hip separation? Then at number 4 we got a match from last year's NCAA championships, Blockus vs Sasso at 149 pounds. Blockus would start off pretty hot with a nice knee pick to a double leg, but then Sasso would fire back with a takedown of his own to end the first period and he would ride out Blockus, something that would be really huge for the rest of the match. In the second, Blockus would choose bottom, get an escape to tie the match at threes. But then he would also take down Sasso with short time remaining in the second, but Sasso would be able to get an escape and make the score 4-5 to five before choosing bottom in the third period and tying the match with an escape of his own. Instead of victory, Sasso would use his insane flexibility to rubber his knee out and get a match winning takedown. And we got a match from the 2018 Big Ten Finals between Lee and Rivera. Nothing would really happen in the first period, but in the second, Lee would choose bottom, get an escape, and then take down Rivera. But then in the third period, Rivera would choose neutral, down 3-1, to one, but he would get a point due to a hands to the face call called on Lee. And then he would get a takedown with about 10 seconds left and ride out Lee. Lee would think that he lost the match, however he had a riding time point so it would go to overtime where Lee would get in on a deep double but Rivera would somehow be able to muscle him off and score the takedown to win the Big Ten title. Shot there by Lee, he's got his head down, wrinkle in the back of the neck, good job by Rivera coming back to a double, he gets it! We got the crazy overtime match between Knopf and Martinez where these guys were so evenly matched that they would just trade escapes going all the way until double overtime tiebreakers. Knopf would get an escape in this period and then Martinez would look like he's about to take down Knopf on the edge of the map but they would challenge the call and then they would overturn the decision to give him the two points. They would call it no takedown for Martinez. So he would go into the tiebreaker down 3-2 to two, and has to get an escape to win the match. And he would get it and then have the lead based off riding time. So Knopf would try to sprint and get a final takedown, but he would be able to fend him off and get the Big Ten title over Jason Knopf. Knopf gets into a scramble, Martinez keeps his head up. And Martinez is the champion, the Big Ten champion in double overtime. Then we got the final between Mark Hall and Bo Jordan, where Hall would start off really well getting a takedown in the first period. And then in the second, Bo Jordan would choose bottom, making it 2-2. Two to two. And then they would enter in this crazy scramble where Mark Hall would be able to get two points in a somewhat questionable call. But Bo Jordan would be able to reverse him to make the score 4-4. Four to four. And then he would also ride him out for the rest of the period. So he would be able to deny Mark Hall the riding time point. In the third period, Hall would choose neutral, but there would be no takedown. And then in overtime, Bo Jordan would be able to take down Mark Hall in a crazy match to win the Big Ten title. But yeah, that's all I got for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment down below what was the best final in your opinion, and subscribe for more wrestling content like this. Peace.